The Omega Civilizations Why scientists fear we're not alone at the top. Somewhere deep in the cosmos, beyond the veil of known galaxies and laws of physics, may exist a force far older, far smarter, and far more powerful than us. A civilization so advanced, its very existence challenges everything we know about reality. Scientists aren't just fascinated by this idea, many are deeply unsettled by it. Because if such a civilization does exist, then we're not pioneers, we're latecomers. A glimpse into a far future civilization. Picture waking up not in a house, but in a gravity-controlled habitat. Your bed floats silently, hovering inches above the ground. The window stretches into a sky filled not with birds, but with traffic from sky ships. Cities stretch beyond clouds. Your robotic assistant hands you tea before your teleport pod whisks you off to a space station orbiting Jupiter. This isn't science fiction. It's what a civilization might look like once it cracks not just energy use, but the very fabric of the universe. And according to some theories, these kinds of civilizations already exist, maybe millions or even billions of years ahead of us. The scale that started it all, the Kardashev spectrum. In 1964, Soviet astrophysicist Nikolai Kardashev proposed a bold idea that civilizations could be ranked by how much energy they harness. Type 1 harnesses all the energy of a single planet. Type 2 extracts energy from an entire star. Type 3 controls energy at the scale of a galaxy. But many scientists and thinkers didn't stop there. They began extending the Kardashev scale. Type 4, 5, 6, even 7. And with every new tier, the civilizations became less understandable and more terrifying. Where are we now? Still Type 0. Despite our digital miracles, rockets, AI, nuclear reactors, we are still a Type 0 civilization. We don't yet fully control the Earth's energy, nor have we achieved global sustainability. Our score? About 0.73 on the Kardashev scale. Michio Kaku, a theoretical physicist, estimates it'll take us 100 to 200 years to reach type 1, if we don't destroy ourselves first. That's the unsettling part. Each leap in advancement brings greater risk, not just power. Type 1, Planet Masters. A type 1 civilization controls every element of their home planet weather systems, volcanoes, earthquakes, even climate regulation. They likely live across multiple planets in their solar system and operate under a unified planetary government. Disease is nearly eliminated. Death is delayed. Even their language and cognition may be partly synthetic or augmented. They don't fear natural disasters. They program around them. And yet they are still vulnerable to their own sun, to wars, to unknown variables. Star builders. Now things start to get surreal. A Type II civilization is capable of harvesting the full energy of their star. Through megastructures like the legendary Dyson Sphere, a colossal shell or swarm of satellites encircling the star, the energy from just one sun, fully captured, could power billions of Earths for millennia. Some astronomers speculate that anomalies like Tabby's star, which dims inexplicably, might be signs of such structures, possibly alien-built Dyson swarms. These civilizations could terraform planets, relocate moons, create artificial gravity, manipulate solar activity itself, and yet they too face extinction when their star begins to die. Galactic Architects At Type 3, civilizations no longer think in planetary or solar terms. They operate on the scale of entire galaxies. Every star system is a power source. Entire fleets of ships travel faster than light. Space-time becomes a tool. Imagine a civilization that controls millions of Dyson structures, transfers consciousness across solar networks, manages black hole energy extraction. They could engineer stars, convert planets into computers, and digitize life itself. But they may also be indistinguishable from gods and completely indifferent to us. So why haven't we seen them? That's what scares some scientists. The Fermi Paradox and the Great Filter. If civilizations can become so advanced, why is the universe silent? This is the Fermi Paradox, the eerie disconnect between high probability and no observable presence. One theory, the Great Filter, an event or threshold so difficult that most civilizations never pass it. It could be nuclear war, resource depletion, AI gone rogue, or maybe they did pass it and have chosen to remain invisible. 
Type 3 or 4 civilizations may cloak themselves entirely. Their technology could be so advanced that they see us the way we see ants, not worth interfering with. Beyond galaxies, type 4 to 7 civilizations. Many thinkers have speculated on what lies beyond. Type 4, Universal Command. They harness the energy of multiple galaxies. They may reshape the structure of the universe, move galaxies like chess pieces, or bend the cosmic web itself. Multiversal Engineers. These civilizations aren't bound to a single universe. They travel between universes, manipulate wormholes, and possibly seed other realities with life. Outside time. A Type 6 civilization may exist beyond space and time entirely. They could collapse or create universes at will, gods in every definition. The Omega State. This theoretical level is hard to even describe. It's not just technology, it's transcendence. Beings of pure energy, capable of immortal consciousness, infinite exploration, and controlling existence itself. If such civilizations exist, we may never detect them, because they've left behind material form altogether. The Ancient Earth Mystery Here's where the story takes a strange turn. What if some of these civilizations didn't evolve far away? But here, take the Great Pyramid, estimated to have taken 20 years and 20,000 workers, with tools no more advanced than copper chisels. Yet the alignment, precision, and scale remain unmatched, even today. From Stonehenge to Machu Picchu, from underwater cities to the Nazca Lines, signs of extraordinary construction exist across time and continents. Could it be that Earth was once home to an advanced species, one that left or vanished? The frightening possibility of cyclical civilizations. What if we are not the first advanced species on Earth? What if civilizations rise and fall, not once, but in cycles over millions of years, each time erasing itself through war, disaster, or cosmic events, each time leaving behind traces, ruins, myths, monuments that don't quite fit. Some believe humanity may be simply the latest version of a recurring cycle, on the path to its own potential extinction or ascension. And that's where things get personal, because our survival may depend on how we handle the same threats that erase those before us. What scientists fear most, when researchers speak about these high-level civilizations, they're not afraid of monsters or aliens. They're afraid of one thing, insignificance. What if we're not the top of the chain? What if we're just the beginning? What if the universe is already colonized and we're being silently watched or ignored? Or worse, what if reaching higher levels means playing with forces so powerful they destroy more than they create? Every Kardashev jump brings risks. Type 1 risks environmental collapse. Type 2 risks stellar instability. Type 3 risks galactic entropy. Type 4 risks unraveling space-time. Advancement isn't just about achievement, it's about control. And losing that control, at those scales, is apocalyptic. The road ahead. Are we ready to evolve? Our journey to higher civilization has already begun. We're building AI nuclear power space travel, global systems, all signs of early type 1 traits. But the question isn't whether we'll get there, it's whether we'll survive the transition. Because the more power we have, the more restraint we need. One miscalculation, and we could vanish, like those who might have come before us. That's why scientists are cautious. Not because the future is impossible, but because it's too possible and too fragile. Are we the first or the forgotten? The idea of super-advanced civilizations isn't just fantasy. It's a warning. Whether they exist out there or were buried beneath us, they point to one truth. Civilization is not guaranteed. It must be earned, preserved, and balanced. So the next time you look at the stars, remember, those lights may not be empty. They may be homes, temples, power plants, or graveyards. And if we ever meet the Omega civilization, we'll need more than science. We'll need wisdom. If this exploration fascinated you, share your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more mind-expanding videos. This journey has only just begun.